I'm Sarita Kumari, Assistant Professor, Tripoli Department, working in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College, Dundigal, Hyderabad. Uh, today, my topic is uh, capacitance of a single phase transmission line. That means calculation of capacitance uh, of single phase transmission line. Then we can see for the three phase line also. So, this topic re uh, map to course outcome one. It is related to course outcome one, CO1. Basically, uh, how the capacitance comes into picture in the transmission line. Uh, so, if we take a transmission line, you can see in the diagram um, on the left side a single phase line uh, where there are two conductors. Uh, so, between the two conductors, okay, one conductor is a line conductor, other one is a ground, okay, neutral. So, between the lines, the capacitance comes into picture like this, okay. So, this is how the capacitance exists in the transmission line and here um, and uh, uh, we know recollect the definition of capacitance. Capacitance is defined as the ratio of charge, conductor charge, okay, to the potential difference between the conductors two conductors okay charge on the conductor to the voltage between the conductors potential difference between the conductors okay so that is charge is denoted with q small q it may be capital q also and voltage is denoted with potential difference denoted with v now here uh, because of this capacitance you can see in the figure 2 uh, because of this capacitance present in the transmission line okay like this between the two conductors that means in parallel okay then what happens there will be a charging current IC flows in the line okay so IC is a charging current so due to this capacitance the charging current IC flows in the transmission line okay and not if one, uh, the point is here this charging current flows in the line even when it is open circuited at the receiving end okay or load is not connected okay so even the load end so the transmission line at the receiving side right so at this receiving side even the load is not connected also this charging current is present flows in the line due to this capacitance that is the point you need to understand okay now due to this okay charging current flow because of the capacitance there will be some voltage drop okay there will be some voltage drop between the sending and so vs is nothing but sending and voltage between the sending end and at the load end side receiving receiving side okay so between the receiving side or receiving end and receiving end and sending end there will be a voltage drop due to this charging current okay and which will also affect the efficiency of the line okay efficiency of the transmission line and also power factor of the line this is how capacitance affects the performance of the transmission line and uh, you can see a point here okay which is shown uh, this is a point says that capacitance of the line is proportional to the length of the line okay uh, uh, how much capacitance presents in the present in the line okay and it may be neglected for uh, line uh, line length 80 to 100 kilometers the capacitance effect is not considered okay for the line transmission line length of okay up to 100 kilometers okay that is exactly given by okay between this range okay so this is a how the capacitance okay present in the transmission line how it affects the transmission line performance so next to derive the expression for this capacitance okay derive the to derive the expression for the capacitance okay consider 
consider first the expression for the electric field intensity and potential difference okay consider first consider the electric field intensity expression and potential difference expression okay here let us consider a charged conductor okay so that means here you can see on the left side there is a conductor whose cha uh, whose uh, uh, current uh, whose charge is q that means which carries a current of i let us say so proportionally it has a charge q present on the conductor now now due to this charged conductor consider let us consider that means we are interested in calculating electric field intensity we want to okay calculate electric field intensity at a distance of y meters from the axis of the conductor so so due to this charged conductor okay electric field intensity at a distance of y meters is given by e y is equal to e sub x y is equal to q by 2 pi epsilon not y whole units are volts per meter so this is from gauss theorem so basically this expression okay is given from gauss theorem okay so now where what is small q charge in the conductor per meter length y is a distance in meters and epsilon not is a permittivity of the free space whose value is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farads per meter now continuation the potential difference now the potential difference between points x1 and x2 so let us see here um the from the charge from the charged conductor q consider the distances two distances okay uh, d1 and d2 uh, d2 uh, so let us say at a distance of d1 okay consider the a particular point x1 and at a distance of d2 consider the point x2 okay now potential difference between the points x1 and x2 is given by okay v12 that means v1 is at x1 is at higher potential than x2 okay so that's why it is mentioned as v12 it is given by in terms of e as integral of e y e sub x y dy because already we have the expression for e y so integral of e okay e y dot dy with limits okay we know that the distance x1 taken at a distance of d1 x2 at a distance of so integral of d1 to d2 so we know that ey is a expression previous slide q by 2 pi epsilon not y okay substituted so this q by 2 pi epsilon it, uh, not is a constant take that out so integral of 1 by integral of 1 by y dy is we know that log y right so log of y so log y with limits d1 to d2 so what it will become if, uh, after applying the limits okay q by 2 pi epsilon not log d2 by d1 okay volts so here uh, v12 is positive when q is positive charge is positive and d2 is greater than d1 so uh, so for positive value of v12 okay this is what this is the uh, things we have to we have to consider charge is positive and also d2 is distance uh, d2 is greater than d1 that means x1 is at higher potential than x2 now from the uh, with this knowledge consider a group of conductors okay where we want to write down the potential difference between the two conductors okay here the group of conductors considered are n conductors okay n capital n conductors you can see the diagram okay n capital n conductors uh, the conductors in this are start with 1 2 okay um, 1 2 then uh, uh, k conductor i conductor m and so on up to n so that's how this group of conductors are considered and accordingly the charges on the conductors are given by proportionally conductor one has its so 
won't charge q1 2 has charge q2 and uh, uh, k uh, it's one charge QK, I conductor it's one charge QI, M conductor QM and uh, N the conductor has its own charge QM. So now to write the expression for potential difference between any two conductors here, uh, what are the, uh, the basic assumptions they have uh, taken are considered are conductors are far away from the ground, okay, the, the, this, group of, this uh, group of conductors are far away from the ground, okay. Then second point, conductor radius is much smaller than the distance between them, okay. So if you take the distance between any two conductors, uh, the dis that uh, they have taken the radius of uh, conductor, okay. Any conductor radius is smaller, very much smaller than the distance between the conductors. And third assumption is charge in the conductors is uniformly distributed along its length, okay. So that is, these are the considerations and uh, finally they are telling that sum of uh, the all the charges is equal to 0, okay. This is what basically uh, they have considered, okay. Sum of all the charges Q1 plus Q2 and so on Qn is equal to 0. Now to write the potential difference between uh, conductors, between the conductors they are writing, okay. K and I, okay. So here, um, to write the potential difference between the conductors K and I due to charge QM, okay. Due to charge QM, they are written as okay. So we know that M conductor has a charge of QM, right? So they are writing potential difference between conductors K and I, okay. Due to due to the charge Qm, okay, it is given by, okay, from the previous knowledge, this is given by Vki, between conductors K and I were writing, so Vki, okay, now Qm by 2 pi epsilon naught, right, why, because we mentioned that due to the charge Qm, log of, log of Dim by Dkm, okay, so, this is the expression, okay, between the conductors K and I, okay. Now, now, here, um, using superposition, using superposition principle, the potential difference between the conductors K and I, okay, due to all charges in this group of, okay, in this group, okay, we have all the charges, Okay, considered n number of charges are there, right? So, okay, due to all charges, if we write the potential difference between these conductors K and I, that is given by, the okay, this expression, 1 by 2 pi epsilon and this Q is given by Qm, okay, varies, whose value varies from 1 to N, okay, capital N, okay, into log of log of d im by dkm okay we are this is expression for potential difference expression between the conductors k and i okay due to all charges okay now so we go to a single phase transmission line capacitance calculation now so you can see on the slide a single phase transmission line where there are two conductors, okay, one is a go conductor, other one is a return conductor, okay, so they have taken, excuse me, they have taken first conductor, okay, has a radius of R1, its charge is Q1, and the uh, return conductor, other conductor has its radius small R2, and its charge is Q2, and the distance between them is capital D. Now, assumptions are, okay, to get the expression for the capacitance, the assumptions are, conductors are far away from the ground, second point, okay, um, second previous assumptions only basically, okay, conductor radii is much smaller than the distance between them, 
चार थर्ड वन चार्ज ऑन द कंडक्टर इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अलॉन्ग इट्स लेंथ ओके एंड ओके क्यू वन प्लस सम ऑफ द चार्जेस हाउ मेनी कंडक्टर्स वी हैव टू कंडक्टर्स राइट सो प्रपोर्शनली चार्जेस आर ऑल्सो क्यू वन क्यू टू सो सम ऑफ दोज टू विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो दीज आर दिंग्स ओके बेसिकली एजम्पन्स ओके कंसिडरेशन they have taken before going into write the expression now the potential difference v12 okay can be obtained in terms of q1 q2 okay v12 is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon not okay epsilon not sigma qm okay where m varies from 1 to 2 log of log of d okay we know that log of dim by dkm i is what here 2 so uh, so second connection so, so d2m by d1m so this is this is a between the conductor single phase line potential difference now elaborate this because sigma varies from 1 to n 1 to 2 so 1 by 2 pi epsilon not okay in brackets uh, when m is equal to 1 The Q1 into log of d2 1 by d1 1 plus Q2. That means when m is equal to 2, log of d2 2 by d1 2. Okay. Now, uh, since we know that, okay, the total current in the single phase transmission line is zero. That means I1 plus I2 is equal to zero. That means Q1 plus in terms of charges, Q1 plus Q2 is equal to zero. Means Q2 is equal to we can Right minus q1 and also here uh, what is uh, the distance uh, uh, the distance between the conductors is capital D here okay means uh, distance uh, uh, from second conductor to first conductor or second first conductor to second conductor okay both are same which is equal to capital D let us say and D11 one is what diameter of the conductor one which is nothing but in the diagram R1 we have mentioned. And D two two is R two. So substitute those okay parameters here. That is given by V one two is equal to one by two pi epsilon um, Q one log of D capital uh, D by R one uh, minus okay this Q two is written as in terms of Q one uh, log of a small R two by capital D. Now log M Q one is common, so write it it as out. And log a by log a minus log b means log of a by b, right? So log uh, d by r one uh, denominator d by numerator uh, uh, numerator r two by d. So log of d square by r one r two. So if you write two as uh, out, so it becomes square root. Okay? Then we can take two as a common. So now two to get two to gets cancelled. So this is the expression for potential difference between the conductors one and two. Now we want to write the expression for capacitance between the conductors. Okay, one two. C one two is given by from the basic definition charge. Okay, to the potential difference. So here uh, consider in terms of Q one. So Q one by V one two. So substitute for the substitute for v12 so this is given by uh, here 2 to get goes off so uh, q1 gets cancel okay q1 by q1 by pi epsilon log of d by r1 r2 so q1 q1 goes off this pi epsilon comes up pi epsilon by log of capital d by square root r1 r2 half r it's for meter okay so Uh, here, uh, if we say both conductors, okay, single phase transmission line, two conductors are having the same radius. Let us say that is R one is equal to small R one is equal to small R two is equal to small R. Then C one two is given by pi epsilon by log base e, okay, capital D by R because both are equal to R means square root and square uh, R square. Uh, square under this root goes cancel so. log of capital d by r 
So this is the expression for the capacitance of a single phase transmission line or single phase two wire line. Okay, capacitance between the two conductors. Okay, now uh, in terms of log base ten, if we write the same expression substitute for epsilon naught, we know that epsilon naught is given by eight point eight five four into ten power minus twelve. So if we substitute the same expression, we can write it as in terms of log 10 also because uh, we have a relation between log base e and log 10 so if we consider that one the expression for the capacitance is given by here 0 0.0121 by log of log base 10 capital d by r it is given in terms of microfarads per kilometer so okay see that here this is the expression okay capacitance is okay units are given in microfarads okay and distance is kilometer okay this is a capacitance expression between the two conductors now so that means if we say the two conductors are one and two now if we want to write the expression capacitance expression uh, between a uh, conductor and neutral okay between a conductor and neutral okay so let us say this is a neutral point between the two conductors okay so if uh, if the two conductors uh, okay if this is like this what are the two values these two values okay to become okay to get the c12 these two are in series right okay so if capital c is the capacitance okay then uh, the capacitance of any one conductor with respect to neutral is uh, uh, 2c then only we will get the capacitance total capacitance conduct uh, capacitance between the two conductors is c right yes or no here you can check that c12 is given by okay okay these two are in series right so series series means when two capacitors are in series we know that what is equivalent expression product by sum so c1 c1n into c2n by c1n plus c2n so what are the what is the value of each one to get the c12 is c if we take each value is 2c only then we get okay it's 2c plus 2c 4c okay so 2 then only we will get c so because of that the capacitance between the one conductor any one conductor and neutral is given by two times the two times the okay capacitance between the two conductors okay so that is c1 n is equal to c2 n is equal to 2 c12 okay so based on that the expression for the uh, capacitance of one conductor with respect to neutral is given by 0 0.0242 by log base 10 capital D by R. Okay, multiply just to previous expression with 2. Okay, so this is the capacitance of X, any one conductor. Okay, any one conductor. Okay, that is C1N or C2N. Okay, For, but C12 we know that, right. 0 0.0121 by log 10 log base 10 capital D by R. Now, the charging current, okay, the charging current expression here is given by, we know that in case of capacitance, how do we write the current I is equal to V by XC, right? So, the current is charging current. So, what is XC? 1 by J omega C, right? So, the charging current expression is given by okay like this so this is the expression right so what is c here this uh, c is here c12 and voltage is that means voltage between the two conductors one and two capacitance between the conductors one and two so this is given amperes per kilometer okay so we will have the problems okay so like for inductance here also they will give the related data they will ask us to calculate the capacitance of the single phase transmission line then also 
corresponding charging current flowing in the line okay so these are the references okay uh, cl vadva reference one electrical power system title uh, author name is cl vadva okay uh, and the second desk book is so uh, vk mehta rohit mehta authors and uh, title book title is principles of power system okay so these are the two mainly test books okay um, from these test books only i have prepared my ppt okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates